ओके लेट्स सॉल्व ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट नंबर वन एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्विज आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ड्राइविंग स्लोअर देन सराउंडिंग ट्रैफिक इज अजर्ड सिंस अदर ड्राइवर मे बिकम फ्रस्ट्रेटेड और एंग्री एंड ट्राई टू पास यू ऑप्शन सी नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू If your vehicle become disabled on highway you should you should pull over activate your emergency flashers and wait for the help option C Next one question number 3 a driver of motor vehicle is not permitted to cry in a house or boat trailer the correct answer is persons option C is the correct option Next one question number 4 Upon approaching a stop sign what does the law required you to do before entering an intersection the law required you to stop and when it is safe to do so then proceed forward next one question number 5 question number 5 is it's illegal to smoke in any motor vehicle when there are any passengers under dash years old under 16 years old option a next one question number 6 large truck requires large truck requires more time and space for starting and stopping or taking turn option a is the correct option next one question number 7 what you can not see in your vehicle rear and a side view mirror is said to be is your it is said to be it's your blind spot option a next one question number 8 the first license new drivers received in learner license learner license which is option number a next one question number 9 drivers license under the graduated driver license programs are restricted from operating a vehicle operating a vehicle when any amount of vehicle has been consumed which is option c next one question number 10 traveling at high speed increase fuel consumption for every 10 km per hour above 90 km per hour you will burn how much more fuel it will burn pull as far to the right as possible and then stop option d is the correct option next one question number 11 when driving at night with your high beams how close are you allowed to get to another car before you dim your headlights it's allowed almost 150 meters next one question number 12 when the traffic signal lights facing you is red and you intend to go straight through the intersection what must you do first you do uh, you need to uh, do first stop the vehicle and wait until the light changes to green and intersection is clear before moving through it option d is the correct option next one question number 13 while you are driving with a learner license a qualifier supervisor must sit beside you when you are driving it's true which is option b next one question number 14 a flashing don't walk means pedestrians should pedestrians should not crossing but finish crossing the street if they are ready started option b is the correct option next one question number 15 never use the cruise control feature uh, on winding roads it's also correct on wet slippery snowy or icy surface it's also correct in urban traffic a c and d options are correct here so we are going to select any one of them let's select option number d next one question number 16 when entering a freeway you should you should do signals and increase your speed to merge smoothly with traffic option d is the correct option next one question number 17 on a roadway where traffic is moving in both direction in what position must you be before making a left turn 
the correct option is immediately to the right of the center line of the roadway option c correct here next question a flashing yellow beacon above an intersection indicates that it indicates drive with caution which is option b next one question number 19 who is responsible to make sure that all passengers are properly secured with seat belts or child restraint system the correct answer is the correct answer is driver uh, is responsible to secure this next one question number 20 when lights are required drivers are required to switch to low beam headlights the correct answer is within 150 meter of an oncoming vehicle next one question number 21 a flashing green light at an intersection where turns to the left and right are permitted indicates it indicates you may turn to the right if the way is clear you may proceed straight if the way is clear or you may turn to the left if the way is clear option b c and d all these options are correct next one question number 22 which of the following has the right of way over all other at an intersection when the light is green the correct answer is pedestrians crossing with the light next one question number 23 a red signal light with a green narrow shown at an intersection indicates that it indicates proceed with caution in the direction of an arrow next one question number 24 if a traffic signal changes while a pedestrian is still on the street which of the following has a right of way definitely the pedestrian has the right of the way option b next one question number 25 if you are involved in a reportable incident you must report this to your nearest provincial and municipal police the correct answer is immediately you need to inform immediately next one question number 26 under all conditions you should drive at the speed that will allow you that will allow you to stop within a safe distance option d next one question number 27 if the child weighs more than 18 kg but is less than 145 centimeter tall and less than nine year old then it must be then it must be use an approval booster seat option a next one question number 28 most skids are the result of driver error skids may occur when you when you accelerate too fast drive too fast brake too hard option a c and d are correct so we are going to select option c next one question number 29 where there are no posted speed limits the maximum speed in cities and town are the maximum speed are 15 km per hour option a last question of this quiz a school zone sign indicating a speed limit of 30 km per hour means it means you must slow down to the indicated speed between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. on school days. Our first question is, unless a sign tells you, otherwise the maximum speed limit allowed outside of cities and towns are, the correct answer is 80 km per hour. Option B is the correct option. Next question question number two what action should you take if your vehicle is hydroplaning the correct answer is without braking decelerate and drive straight ahead option d next one question number three a solid line at the left of your lane means it means it is unsafe to pass option b is the correct one next question during poor weather conditions such as rain snow smoke and fog how should you use your headlights the correct answer is you need to use your headlights on low beams option a is the correct option next question 
इट इज अगेंस्ट द लॉ टू पार्क इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग अ ब्रिज और अ टनल अ बाईसाइकिल लेन वेन ड्राइविंग आउटसाइड अर्बन एरिया एंड अ साइड वॉक ऑल अबव मैंशन आंसर आर करेक्ट वन सो वी नीड टू सिलेक्ट ऑप्शन ई विच इज ऑल आर करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वेन योर व्हील्स गो ऑफ द पेमेंट यू शुड डू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग्स यू शुड अंडर कंट्रोल स्टीयर फुली बैक ऑन द पेमेंट ऑप्शन बी next one question number 7 before moving from a park position you should you should safe zone always signal and check for a traffic pulling out only when it is safe to do so option d is the correct one next question question number 8 uh, traction is affected by a slippery condition in winter drivers should drive the correct answer is slower option b next one question number 9 in what lane of traffic should you drive when you intend to make a right hand turn the correct answer is close to the right side of the road option a is the correct one next question question number 10 children in cars must ride in a rear facing in front seat until they are until they are 1 year old or almost 9 kg option a next one question number 11 if you are convicted of driving while impaired you lose your driver license immediately for for 90 days option b next one question number 12 in what position of the roadway must you be before making a left turn from a one way traffic street the correct answer is uh, the correct answer is close to the right hand side of the no uh, actually the correct answer is not mentioned in these options uh, so you remember that the correct answer is close to the left hand side of the roadway which is not mentioned here so we select any one of them which is definitely a wrong answer so you can uh, see that the correct answer is close to the left side of the roadway next one when a right turn against a red signal light is permitted what does the law require you to do before entering the intersection and making a turn the correct answer is come to the complete stop wait and then until the way is clear then please forward option a next one question number 14 on approaching an intersection where a traffic signal light is red and a policeman motions you to go through you should you should obey the policeman signal and proceed option d is the correct option next one question 15 if a tire blows out you should you should take your foot off the gas pedal and steer the vehicle firmly in the direction you want to go option d next one question number 16 when descending a steep hill a good and safe driving practice is to the great good practice is to gear down and use motor to assist in braking option d next one the best way to stop quickly on a wet or a icy roadway is to the best way is to brake if wheels lock then release pressure and reapply until you come to the stop option b next one question 18 under what circumstances may you lend your driver license to another the correct answer is the correct answer is never next one question 19 when another vehicle wants to pass you, you should you should move to the right and let it pass option b next one question number 20 the minimum safe following distance in traffic is the minimum distance is the 2 second gap to the other vehicle option b next one question number 21 how far away from a stop sign traffic control signal or a cross crosswalk are you required to park the correct answer is the correct answer is 6 meters question number 22 what is the minimum parking distance from a fire hydrant the correct answer is 5 meter option c next one question number 23 
parking lights should be used uh, they should be used for uh, for parking only option a next one question 24 you should be within how many centimeters of the curb when parallel parking the correct answer is 30 next one question 25 a flashing red beacon above an intersection means it means you must come to the complete stop move through an intersection only when it is safe to do so which is option c okay we have uh, selected the correct option and uh, you can also compare our corrected options with the answer which is given below and note down that the correct answer is you must come to the complete stop and only when it's safe to do so then move forward next one question number 26 when driving behind or beside a large vehicle you should avoid you should avoid driving in their blind spot option a next one question number 27 never change lanes without without signaling checking the rear view mirror and checking blind spot option c question number 28 when parking facing downhill you should you should turn your front vehicle towards the curb or right shoulders option c next one question number 29 if you want to park near a railway crossing you must make sure that you are how far away from the nearest rail to you the correct answer is 15 meters next one what should you do if your engine fails while driving you need to activate your hazard lights stay with your car and raise the hood and also signal and move off the road the all answers are correct so we select option a so our British Columbia test number two is also completed. So in our next video, we will solve British Columbia practice test number three. Question number one, you are approaching an intersection on a main road and intersection is blocked with a traffic. You should, you should stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on, which is option A next question question number two unless you want to turn left or pass another vehicle you should you should keep to the right of the road and in the right hand line on multi-lane roads option a next one question three a person whose driver license is under suspension it may it may not operate a motor vehicle under any condition which is option b next one Question 4. If you refuse a police roadside blood vehicle screening test, uh, what can happen? It can cause your license can be suspended and you can face criminal charges. Option A. Next one. Question number 5. Two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at approximately the same time. The right of way should be given to the right of way should be given to the vehicle approaching from the left uh, approaching from the right hand side, which is option D. The correct option is option D. Next one, question six. When deciding to make a U-turn, your first consideration should be to check should be to check the traffic regulations option d is the correct one next question question number seven what should you do when a car is stopped at a park crosswalk to allow a pedestrians to cross the correct answer is option c which is do not pass any vehicle within 30 meters of a pedestrian crosswalk next one question eight if the signal light changes from green to amber as you approach an intersection, what should you do? You need to stop. If stop cannot be made safely, proceed with caution. Next one. Question number nine is, you must not follow any emergency vehicle that has its siren or lights operating within, within 150 meters. Option C is the correct one next question question number 10 a broken line at the left of your lane means it means you may pass if the way is clear next one question number 11 
if you drive a vehicle while you are unlicensed the police can impound the vehicle on a spot for uh, the sport for seven days option d is the correct one question number 12 drivers and learners in british columbia graduated license program are not permitted to use handheld or hands-free communication devices the correct answer is option c it's true next one Question number 13. When it is safe to do so, passing other vehicle on a right side is permitted when the, steer, uh, when the street or a highway has two or more lanes for traffic in the direction you are traveling. Option B is the correct one. Next question. Question number 14. Hydroplaning can cause your vehicle to skid. It is caused by, it is caused by your tides riding on top of the water. Option E is the correct one. Next question. When meeting oncoming vehicle with bright headlights at night, you should you should look up and beyond and slightly to the right of the oncoming lights. Next one. Question 16. You should use low beam headlights when driving a vehicle at night when when meeting or following another vehicle. Next one. Question number 17. You must use your headlights from 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise or if visible is reduced to less than 150 meter. Option C is the correct one. Next question. Question number 18. Before you back up, make sure you perform a 360 degree vision check. Option A is correct option. Next one, question number 19. You must dim your high beam headlights when you are within dash of another vehicle, either when meeting or following a vehicle. The correct answer is 150 meters, which is option B. Next one, question number 20. Wearing a seat belt in a collision scan can decrease your chances of being injured or being killed which is option C. Next one, question number 21. When are you permitted to cross a bicycle lane? You are permitted when there is a broken white line or whenever you are turning on or out of the driveway. Option C is the correct one. Next question. What must a driver do before entering a highway from a private road or a driveway? The correct answer is yield right of the way to all vehicle approaching on a highway. Next one, question 23. When approaching a yield sign, what does the law require you to do? The law required you to slow down, stop if necessary and go only when the way is clear. Option C is the correct one. Next question, question 24. While you are driving with a learner license, you may drive only between only between 5 a.m. and midnight, which is option B. Next question. The hand and arm signal for showing or stopping is indicated by it's indicated by arm out and down. Option B. Next one. Question number 26. It is more dangerous to drive at the maximum speed limit at night than during daytime because, because you cannot see as far as ahead even with headlights. Option B. Next one, question number 27. When their factors go into determining how long it takes to stop, it, uh, it takes perception time, reaction time and braking time. Option C is the correct option. Next one, question number 28. If you have changed your address, you are required to update the address in your license within, within 10 days of moving. Option D is the correct one. Next question. When parallel parking, you must be within how many centimeters from the curb? The correct answer is 30 centimeters. Next and the last question of this quiz, if you are involved in a reportable accident, you must report it, uh, it to your nearest provincial or municipal police. The correct answer is immediately. And guys, British Columbia test number three is also completed here.
Our first question is, what is the safest action to take when your vehicle drives over a black ice? The correct answer is option C. Next one, question number two. When approaching a railway crossing where a electrical or mechanical signal device is warning of the approach of the train, you must you must stop not less than five meters from the nearest rail. Option B is the correct one. Next question, question number three. To make a U-turn, you must be able to see how many meters in both direction, almost 150 meters. Next question, question number four. In good weather, what is the minimum following distance you should maintain between your vehicle and a motorcycle in front of you? The correct answer is three seconds. Option C is the correct one. Next question. Question number five. What is meant by overdriving your headlights? The correct answer is option C. Next one. Question number six. When a police officer signals you to pull your vehicle over you, the correct answer is you need to must pull over as far as the right as you safely can and come to the complete stop. Option B is the correct one. Next question, question number seven. The accessible parking permits are, they are entitled the vehicle in which it is displayed to be marked in a designated disabled parking space if the holder is a driver or it's a passenger, passenger, or if it's a passenger. Option C is the correct option. Next question, question number eight. How much room do cyclists need on either side of themselves as a safety zone? The correct answer is one meter. Next question. Question number nine. When do you stop for school buses which have red lights operating if there is a median? The correct answer is option A. When you are approaching it from behind. Next one. Question number ten. It is against the law to follow an emergency vehicle with flashing lights or siren closer than closer than 150 meters. Next one, question 11. Where should you position your hands on the steering wheel? The correct answer is 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions or the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock position. Option B is the correct one. Next question, question number 12. What should you do when ex exciting a freeway? The correct answer is signal move into deceleration lane, reduce speed gradually and obey exit signs. Option D is the correct one. Next question, question number 13. Why must you use signals when turning? The correct answer is you need to use signals to notify other drivers to, of your intentions. Next one, question 14. Who has the right of way in a roundabout? The correct answer is traffic in a roundabout. Next question, question number 15. If a front tire goes flat, your vehicle will pull strongly to the strongly to the side that has the flat tire. Option A is the correct one. Next question, question number 16. Which of these cannot be caused by wet roadways? Poor visibilities cannot be caused by poor, uh, wet roadways. Next one, question 17. When can you pass on a shoulder? The correct answer is if it is paved and you are passing a vehicle turning left. Option D. Next one, question 18. In a traffic circle, the correct answer is the vehicle on the right must yield the vehicle on the left hand side. Next one, question 19. What should you do if you become standard in snow? The correct answer is run your vehicle engine for approximately 5 minutes every hour for heating. Next one, question number 20. What action should be taken when your brakes fail? You need to pump the brakes rapidly and shift into a lower gear. Next question, question number 21. Your legal responsibilities in an accident include it include remaining at the scene, providing assistance and calling emergency service if it is necessary. Option A is the correct one. Next question. If there are continuity lines to the right of the line, you are in, what must you need to do? 
you need to not required to do anything unless you want to exit your lane is unaffected option d is the correct one next question question number 23 road test failures may result from may result from unsafe actions difficult obeying traffic laws lack of skill and control all these options are correct next question question 24 what should you do if you feel drowsy while driving you need to stop for a short rest and in a safe area next and the last question of this quiz coming to the complete stop at an intersection is required but where do you stop if there is no stop line crosswalk or a sidewalk the correct answer is stop at the edge of the intersection option c and guys this quiz is also completed don't forget to subscribe the channel we will meet you in our next video till that goodbye okay let's start british columbia sign test number one so let's start the quiz and our first symbol of british columbia quiz represent that right lane ends ahead option a correct here next symbol and second number symbol is denoted by it's denoted by watch for rocks on the road ahead which is option b next one our third symbol is and this symbol denoted by winding road ahead option c correct here next one symbol number four and this symbol number four is denoted by two-way traffic keep right unless passing option d correct here next one question number five and this fifth number symbol is denoted by road narrows both side option c correct one next one symbol number six and this one is denoted by do not enter option c correct here next one symbol number seven and this symbol number seven is denoted by hill ahead option c next one symbol number eight and this eighth number symbol is denoted by no stopping between here and the next no stopping sign option a next one our symbol number nine and this one is represented by railway crossing ahead option d correct here next one symbol number 10 and this 10th number symbol is represented by road may be slippery ahead option c next one Question number 11 and this 11 symbol is denoted by a turn left only. Next one. Next symbol is denoted by strong stop completely continue only when it is safe. Next one. Question number 13 and this 13th number is denoted by narrow structure ahead option D. Next one. 14th number symbol and this one is denoted by a railway crossing option c next one question number 15 and this one is denoted by school crosswalk ahead option b next one symbol number 16 and this one is denoted by construction zone crew working option a correct here next one symbol number 17 and this one is represented by a school crosswalk next one and our next symbol is represented by give the right of way to others vehicle and crossing pedestrians option c next one question number 19 and this one is represented by a desti destination sign option b correct here next one question number 20 and the correct answer is go straight only no turns option a is the correct option next one question number 21 and 21 number symbol is denoted by no u-turn option a next question question number 22 and this one is represented by signal light ahead option b next one question number 23 and this symbol is represented by a school zone reduce speed when children are present option c is the correct option next one question number 24 and this one is represented by a bump or rough road ahead option d next one question number 25 
this one is represented by a keep right of the divider option a correct here and guys this british columbia scientist number one is also completed so we go to this main page and here we are going to select scientist number two and our first symbol is represented by represented by cyclist may be on roadway option d next one question two and this one is represented by a playground nearby option c next one question number three and this one is denoted by a divided highway ends ahead option b is the correct option symbol number four and this one is denoted by indicates a lower speed limit ahead option a next one question number five and this fifth number symbol is denoted by hospital next one symbol number six and this one is represented by pavement ends ahead option b is the correct option next one question number seven and which clearly represented by watch for deer ahead option c correct one next one question number eight and this eighth number symbol is denoted by two-way traffic ahead option d is the correct option next question and ninth number symbol is denoted by vehicle both direction must turn left no through traffic allowed option d next one question number 10 one way gives direction of traffic on cross street option d is the correct option next one question number 11 symbol number 11 and this 11th number symbol is represented by do not pass option a is the correct option next one question number 22 and this symbol is represented by signal light ahead prepare to stop when lights are flashing option b we need to select here next one question number 13 and this 13th number symbol is denoted by shows a permitted action which is option c next one question number 14 and this 14th number symbol is denoted by do not go this way which is option d next one symbol number 15 and this one is denoted by no right turn on red lights option d next one symbol number 16 and this one is denoted by a stop sign ahead which is option d next one question number 17 and this 17th number symbol is represented by merging traffic ahead option a correct here next one question number 18 and this one is denoted by construction ahead option a next one question number 19 and this 19th number symbol is represented by shows an action that is not permitted which is option a next one question number 20 and this 20th number symbol is denoted by do not park here option a next one question number 21 and this symbol is denoted by round about ahead option c correct here next one question number 22 and this one is represented by a pedestrian crosswalk ahead option c is going to option c sir. option c is the correct option next one question number 23 and this 23 number symbol is denoted by curve ahead slow down next one question number 24 and this one is represented by a school bus stop ahead option d next question question number 25 and this one is denoted by no bicycle riding beyond this point option a and this british columbia sign test number two is also completed